Right, welcome ladies and gentlemen. So, Russell Crowe is going to be starring in a movie titled The Last Druid from the director of Underwater, William Eubank, friend of the channel, actually. Uh, an individual who I've had on the channel a few times to do interviews, discussions, chit-chats about the various films that he's been doing across, you know, well, basically since Underwater. I had him on the channel to talk about Underwater, then I had him on the channel to speak about Land of Bad, which was his most recent film. And that's where he met Russell Crowe. And that's where uh, he, I, I guess, pitched to Russell Crowe a new movie, The Last Druid. I think this sounds really, really good. Uh, also, side note, spoiler alert, we will get William Eubank on the channel again to discuss this film when it's uh, a little bit more underway. So, what is this? Well, it was Russell Crowe. He's back in the sort of Roman... Empire Days, another movie about the Roman Empire. I think this is going to be great. I genuinely, genuinely think this will be really, really good. Uh, so just as a, a bit of a background, what's the exclusive on Deadline? And they say almost 25 years after Russell Crowe waged war on the Roman Empire and won an Oscar for his trouble in Gladiator, the actor is once again set to stir the warrior within for The Last Druid. So this movie will tell the story of a Roman emperor who discovers a secluded druid stronghold in the mountains of Caledonia. A peaceful Celtic elder, Crow, must take up arms to protect his family and people from annihilation. That sounds bloody good to me. Conquest, the empire of Rome moving forwards, and a peaceful Celtic elder, Russell Crow. I think this sounds genuinely really, really decent. Now, I will say, I know that this movie, this particular story, was born from something else that William Eubank had been uh, sort of working on in the background for quite some time. Now that's something which is a little bit more fantasy based to a degree, but then obviously, you know, discussing things with Russell Crowe directly and how this sort of movie, well, that movie to this movie, they naturally tend to blossom and change and grow uh, into something which we now have this, The Last Druid. I, th I do genuinely think this sounds good. I am biased because I like William Eubank and I like his films, but I do think this is going to be good. And there's a lot of reasons why. So for those that didn't watch Underwater, watch Underwater. Uh, for those that, I don't know, have watched Underwater but aren't aware of William Eubank's other movies, for instance, go and have a watch of a movie called The Signal with Lawrence Fishburne in it. That's a fantastic film. It's absolutely fantastic. Or Love. For instance, that was one of William Eubank's very first films. Um, which, again, he discussed how that sort of movie got off the ground uh, in an interview with me on the channel. But William Eubank has a very a very keen eye for cinematography. He has a great use, and I, I, I very rarely say this, but he has a very, 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 very good eye to use slow motion. Now, I know, it sounds a bit weird, right? Slow motion, it kind of came out of nowhere and was in everything for a while but William Eubank utilizes it to accentuate moments which a character is going to be feeling or you know sort of desensitization and things like this he does it in a really smart way if you've watched uh, uh, The Signal for instance uses it very well in there if you've watched Underwater he uses it very very well in Underwater which side note is actually a, a secret Lovecraft Cthulhu movie so definitely go give Underwater a watch so, him lending his sort of, well, one, his cinematography eye, uh, but also the use of slow motion and how he likes to incorporate that into films for a more, it was, I mean, it's not necessarily historically accurate, but a his, historical epic where you've got battling warriors and the Roman Empire. I think this sounds fantastic. I think that's going to be a recipe for success. And again, although I am biased... There is not a movie that William Eubank has made which doesn't look good. All the films look fantastic. So whether you like or dislike the stories within them, it's going to look bloody great. Uh, I happen to enjoy his films, so I think this is going to be really, really good. So Stuart Ford's AGC is launching sales on the project for the AFM, Range Media Partners and CAA Media Finance. Arranged financing for the picture with Nostromo. Uh, and are representing the US rights. So it's not fully sold yet. Um, it seems to be financing, done, etc. Uh, but it's looking like this will go quite nicely. 
you know, this will go quite well. I do know his most recent film, Land of Bad, that was basically done and dusted, and the success of that film has done really, really well, obviously, to, to push William Eubanks' career a little bit more forward. Unfortunately, Underwater was not the smash hit success, which it should have been. That was a really, really good film, but came out in a really awkward, weird time. Um, so, as Deadline notes, William Eubank is set to direct from a script he penned with Phil Gawthorne and Carlisle Eubank. Uh, but I will say as well, he did discuss things with Russell Crowe. So, yeah, this is completely true. Deadline is right here, that it is a script he penned with Phil Gawthorne and Carlisle Eubank. But it is also something which he worked really closely with uh, Russell Crowe on. So, that's good. That's really, really good. Um, and just as they note here on Deadline Anyway, 42's uh, Ben Pugh is producing alongside Range Media Partners, Brian Kavanagh-Jones, Fred Berger, Adrian Guerrera. Uh, also producing for Nostromo, Felix Farmers, Brandon Millen and Sam Wasson uh, will executive produce alongside George something. I can't even bloody pronounce that. Uh, Crow will next be seen in Craven the Hunter and then Nuremberg as well. Uh, and as they note here anyway, which I've said, but just for you know, for argument's sake, uh, Eubank made his de debut directorial debut in 2011 with the science fiction drama Love. And he also directed The Signal for Focus Features, which is a really, really good film, actually. Uh, it stars Brenton Thwaites, uh, Olivia Cook, and Lawrence Fishburne. Uh, Underwater, starring Kristen Stewart, Vincent Cassell uh, for 20th Century Fox. Paranormal Activity, Next of Kin, which was actually a pretty good film, like all things considered. You know, as a next akin, as a, a paranormal activity film, I wasn't expecting much, but it was actually pretty decent. Uh, almost like a, you know, go to uh, like a secluded, uh, you know, secluded farmland, people off grid, etc., and a bit cult like. It was, yeah, it's a good film. Check it out. Uh, and then, of course, most recently, Land of Bad. With Liam Hemsworth and Russell Crowe. And he will next direct the thriller The Epiphany, which is starring Sylvester Stallone, which is due to shoot early next year. Uh, all, all being well, that will get off the ground. Um, so th th this is good. This is good. So the other, you know, range, right? Range media partners. Uh, some of the people behind Long Legs and The Bike Riders. So, yeah, good. I think this is really, really good news. I'm very excited for this. I'm very excited for William Eubank. Like I said, he's a friend of the channel. Uh, I like the dude a lot. So I, it's nice to see people that are good, right? Good at what they do. Good at their craft. Down-to-earth individuals as well. Just actually, you know, getting somewhere in the industry. <laughs> it's just really nice to see. So kudos. It'd be really good to see Russell Crowe. I mean, I've done a lot of, you know, jibber-jabber right now about William Eubank. But it'd be really good to see Russell Crowe back in this sort of... Um, this sort of setting as well. I think he is... Russell Crowe's great. He just is great. So it'll be really good to see him back in this setting. A peaceful Celtic elder that presumably is just going to go absolutely mental on people. Yes, please. That'd be epic. So anyway, let me know your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear it. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.